Hola a todos y bienvenido en mi canal YouTube. After I talk to you about the two presidential debates and the last polls, let's learn a bit more about each candidate on the ballot. Let's start with Miriam Bregman of the United Workers Left Front. Bregman was born in 1972 in Timote, a very small village in the Buenos Aires province, five hours from the capital. She first started as a lawyer and represented some victims of the last Argentinian dictatorship. In 1997, she co-founded the Centro de Profesionales por los Derechos Humanos, or in English, the Center of Professionals for Human Rights. She first joined the Socialist Workers' Party in 2011. Over time, it became part of the coalition that we now know as the United Workers' Left Front. She was listed as Vice President of the Coalition in 2015. Now she's running for the presidency. Let's continue with Patricia Bullrich of Together for Change. Bullrich was born in 1956 in the city of Buenos Aires. She got involved in politics at a very young age, being a proud member of the Young Peronist. One year after Juan Perón returned to Argentina, he died, and that is when it turned sour. She was arrested and detained six months after spray painting the wall at the University of Buenos Aires. After the 1976 coup d'etat, she fled in Brazil, then Mexico and Spain. Bullrich returned to Argentina and to active politics in 1993. She climbed the political stairs to be part in 2001 of the Argentinian government of De La Rua. In October 2001, she became Minister of Labor, Employment, and human resources. Shortly after, she was transferred to the Ministry of Social Security. In 2015, she was appointed by Mauricio Macri, Minister of Security, until the 2019 election. The next candidate for the presidency is Sergio Massa and the Unity for the Homeland. Massa was born in 1972 in San Martin, part of the Greater Buenos Aires area. He started a law degree that he finished only in 2013. Massa was involved in politics for years before getting elected as a provincial deputy in 1999. After the De La Rua presidential fiasco, the interim president named Massa the executive director of the National Social Security Administration. He was briefly mayor of the city of Tigre before being appointed chief of the cabinet of ministers. He returned as mayor of Tigre from 2009 to 2013. He was a national deputy from 2013 to 2017 and again from 2019 to 2022 when he was also elected president of the chamber. He was appointed by Alberto Fernandez, Minister of Economy in August 2022. Even if he started not long ago, a lot of people put the blame on him for the economic crisis. The next candidate is considered the Argentinian Donald Trump. Javier Milei is representing freedom advances in the upcoming presidential election. Milei was born in 1970 in the city of Buenos Aires. He had multiple employment in the economic sector, such as a government consultant in the International Center for Settlement of Investment Dispute and senior economist at HSBC. Millet was also a member of an economic policy group advising the International Chamber of Commerce, the G20, in the World Economic Forum. He was also a professor of economics and mathematics of economics for more than 20 years. Over the last 10 years or so, he built this political pedigree in having an economical political podcast and debating with multiple personalities in Argentina. He joined the party in 2020 and became a national deputy in 2021. Now he is running for the presidency. The last candidate of the five is Juan Schiaretti of We Do For Our Country. Schiaretti was born in 1949 in the city of Cordoba. He was arrested and threatened multiple times, like many others, after the coup 
Catopo Juan Peron. He fled in exile to Belo Horizonte, Brazil. He left from 1976 to 1984. He held multiple political jobs, such as Subsecretary to the Latin American Integration in the Ministry of International Relations from 1989 to 1991, and Federal Interventor of the Province of Santiago del Estero from 1993 to 1995. He became Vice Governor of Cordoba from 2003 to 2007, and Governor from 2007 to 2011, and again from 2015 to today. Now, at 74 years old, he wants to be President of Argentina. Thanks for watching this video, and hasta luego!